All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sanko here. Welcome back to the channel. Got a whole bunch of good news stuff for you today. And uh, yeah, it's been a while and uh, maybe a couple of days here and, and there between some videos. Sometimes I find to do it every day, sometimes not, but yeah, that's okay for now. We'll get back on track sooner or later. Um, but the first article I want to bring up is pretty important. Mining Roundup, Sky Mining CEO flees with $35 million. Um, so this actually uh, sounds familiar to me, Sky Mining. I, I believe at some point I have received an email from Sky Mining in order to promote them. And I'm not sure when I received that. Maybe it was weeks ago or months ago, but it does sound extremely familiar that they were reaching out to YouTubers to try and promote them. And again, this is one reason I don't respond to basically 90 plus percent of any kind of promotion or emails like that because they turn out to be scams. Who would have thought? Um, I actually checked my, my trash in my Gmail and I tried to search for this, but uh, they may have not called it Sky Mining at the time or they may have said something else in the email that didn't lead me to believe um, because what I did was try to search for Sky Mining in my email to see if I had like an old uh, email in my trash, but I didn't find them, but it does sound very, very familiar. So in recent mining news, it's been alleged that the uh, CEO of Vietnam-based Sky Mining has fled the country with 35 million U.S. dollars in investor funds in his possession. And meanwhile, the uh, U.S. Uh, TMG Corps has acquired a 100 megawatt data center in Dallas. Uh, and local media have reported that Bitmain will open a mining facility in a former aluminum smelter in Texas as well. So a lot of uh, mining going on in Texas now, um, which is okay, I suppose. But again, it's Bitmain, so it's very, very centralized. Uh, but the idea uh, here is that the main focus is uh, this Vietnamese company. Uh, so investors and board members of Ho Chi Minh City-based uh, Sky Mining have expressed fears that the company's chief executive officer, Lee Min Tom, has fled the country and run away with approximately $35 million in investor funds. According to local media, Mr. Tam has not been contactable since Monday. <laughs> who, yeah, who would have thought on that one when you run away with thirty-five million that you're not that you're not contactable? I mean, go figure, right? Uh, with the exception of an apology note posted to investors on Wednesday via Facebook, investors reportedly visited the company's main office in Phu Nan District to discover the building closed and the company nameplate removed. Additionally, all six hundred mining machines in the company's factory in the neighboring Dong. Nai province, uh, Bien Ho Town, had been taken away and a group of people claiming to be maintenance workers by a group of people claiming to be maintenance workers. So uh, Lee Men Hu, the deputy chairman of the company, is forming a temporary board to support investors and calculate the remaining assets of the company and has accused the CEO of fleeing to the United States, which is probably where you wouldn't want to flee to because it's the United States and it's just really heavily regulated and, and high security. Uh, I'd figure you would want to flee to some place like maybe Laos or Cambodia or something like that. Uh, so the board has reported this to the police and showed evidence that uh, we are not guilty. Um, so maybe, yeah, maybe like the board um, is not guilty, but I think the CEO may have run away, left an apology note for running away. Good, good guy there. I, I apologize for taking your 35 million, but I need this 35 million. I gotta go. I'm sorry, guys. So this is why uh, this is just one more reason. It's just like one more needle on the haystack or uh, hair that broke the camel, camel's back or something. It's like one more reason why I don't trust cloud mining in any way, shape, or form. And we're actually going to get into hash flare in just a minute as well. Uh, so this next article, not that crazy, uh, but it says Bitcoin mining company cleared of wrongdoing by regulators. Uh, so the security commissioner of South Carolina dismissed its previous order of nearly half a year ago against Genesis mining. It's rare. And some say this is the first for the state as the commissioner hasn't previously withdrawn such an order. The company plans to resume services in the United States as a result. The case also might mark a turning point in such for firm, firms beginning to fight back against the regulators. So this kind of leads me to believe that uh, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of securities commissioners don't really understand cryptocurrency. Um, not that I'm a big fan of Genesis Mining or Hashflare or anything like that. I kind of suspect that they're uh, that they do have the mining equipment. 
don't get me wrong there, not like it's a complete scam, but it's also, it's like a functional scam, if you will. It's sort of a pyramid scheme. There's a lot of referral links and a lot of people that make the most money have the referral links. And as soon as you start to hear that, and now not all referral links in the world are bad, but when you start to hear it about certain, um, you know, certain things like that, it, it raises a lot of questions. Um, and I think one of the best examples that I've come up with, at least personally, I think that because I'm me, uh, is like having a money tree. So if you had a money tree that makes $100 a day, um, how, if you ask yourself, how can I make more than $100 a day with this money tree? And let's just say you can't plant more money trees. So how can you have more than $100 a day if your money tree only makes $100 a day exactly every single day? And the idea is that you just, um, you sell it to a thousand or 10,000 people and you, you make them pay a uh, hundred dollars right off the bat each um, or maybe a thousand dollars right off the bat and you give them an appropriate amount of money every day so you know if you pay a hundred bucks maybe you get eight cents a day and then a few years uh, you will get uh, you know maybe a hundred and twenty dollars so you, you make profit by by paying them a hundred dollars and you get more but sooner or later uh, that's just not going to keep working because now you have these referral links uh, and the people that refer they make more money and you have to pay them more money and uh, Good old, good old motorcycles with no baffles. Um, and so eventually the whole thing sort of collapses because uh, basically what they do is they, let's say they have one S9 miner. Of course, they have many more. Uh, and that produces 14 terahash. So you go on their website and you get one terahash uh, for two year, <clears throat> a two-year contract or something like that. And you pay $1,000 for that or something along the lines. And so eventually, so basically they're just parsing out all that hash power and they're, they're giving you far less and you're paying all of their electricity. You're paying these maintenance fees uh, and all kinds of things. So you end up paying a lot more than you could have just got by buying crypto or by buying your own S9 miner. So they're just not good. No matter which way you look at cloud mining, it is just not good. They have a finite amount of resources and they're splitting it up to a whole bunch of people for a premium price and they're making a lot of money off that when you could just be doing that yourself it makes no sense uh, but it's good to know that at the same time that the South Carolina securities regulator dismissed uh, the cease and desist order against Genesis mining while I don't believe they're doing anything right at the same time I don't believe they're doing anything necessarily uh, illegally wrong uh, it's kind of a, a weird thing, but I'm glad that they're, they're sort of just at least changing their mind in, in the crypto field in general, which could create a, uh, you know, a little bit more of an ease on regulation of cryptos and, and you know, of uh, unnecessary cease and desist orders. So that's why I wanted to talk about that article. And it was really just more of a conversation piece than reading the entire article or anything. Uh, so now I want to talk about this. Now, this is kind of old news. Um, this was a couple days ago. And, I, you know, I sort of missed out. Uh, well, I, I did realize this as soon as they, they tweeted, uh, but I was unable to make any videos for a couple days. Um, so this tweet here from Hashflare says, throughout the last week, our team has been focused on finding the optimal solution that would allow us to resume SHA-256 and we are happy to announce that as a result of diligent work, such a solution has been reached. Uh, so, yay, everybody. Hash flare with a with a on fire. I don't know what the fire. Yeah. All right. So that means that you guys are on fire or under fire or that you've just set fire to all your S9 miners or your facility. Uh, what does that even mean? Why, why is that fire? Uh, so now at first glance, oh, excuse me. So at first glance, you might think to yourself, oh, that's good news, right? Because now my SHA-256 contract will be resumed. But the problem is, is they still haven't paid anybody out for months, uh, for, for well over a month now. And because the prices were so low, because what, what you have to realize is that when you go on Hashflare and you buy hash power, it is 35 cents a day per terahash. So if you were, so for example, an S9 miner, um, you know, a month ago was making about $4 a day. And so if you had 14 terahash, what you do is you just times 14 by by 35 cents. And if you just did that with 10, that's $3 and, and 50 cents a day. Uh, so if you bought 10 terahash, you wouldn't be making $4. And see, you can see right there that you're just not making your money back. So 14 times 335, uh, let's just, let's whip out the handy dandy. Andy, Microsoft uh, super calculator that nobody else has. Just me. Just me. Um, Microsoft, <laughs> they do really like me. So trust me. Uh, so uh, we're going to do 35 cents. Oops, I'm terrible. Uh, 35 cents times 14. 
as you can see, that's $4.90 a day. And while the S9 miner for 14 terahash was only making about $4.10, 20 cents, depending on the day and the price, you can see right there that they were operating at a loss. You are operating at a loss right there. Uh, they're still getting their money. They're still getting their Bitcoin in. So they're still running the machines and getting Bitcoin, but they're just not paying you out. So what are they doing with that Bitcoin? And as you can see, this is exactly why I don't like cloud mining. I said this a long time ago and everybody's like, ah, screw that guy. I'm not going to watch that video. I'm going to watch everybody's video on how they're making thousands of dollars. Well, yeah, you're watching a YouTuber that has thousands of referral links. And of course, he's making like hundreds of dollars a day uh, with cloud mining. It's not because he put in 10,000 or $100,000 into cloud mining. He just got a lot of referral links, he or she. Um, so no, it's all it's it's all fake. Uh, it's just referral links. Um, so they're they're not really making that much money. They just they just made a video and now you signed up to their link, um, and you did it in good faith. Uh, you did it because you seen somebody else was making money and you you know you thought, hey, this sounds like a great idea, and that's understandable. But uh, no longer uh, should you be doing it. No longer should anybody be doing it. They should just go under uh, as soon as possible. Possible. <clears throat> um, so another thing, yeah, they haven't been paying out for a month, and nobody is excited about this. Uh, good old Madoff wasn't on the blockchain, Twitter. Um, how convenient, just two days before the 12% increase of difficulty. The only reason you guys did this is stop credit card refunds. It's the only solution to hash fare problems, not to those of the customers. Uh, and everybody, it, it, this is just... Mm, 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 oh, so sauce it's good sauce trust me guys go to the hash flare twitter and have yourself a good time have yourself a good time get yourself some popcorn get yourself a nice beer or a wine or a spritzer or something like that sit back relax put on put on your slippers and put on your robe take off all of your clothes and then just put on a robe and sit spread eagle in your chair and read all this ma 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 juicy sauce drama it's good nobody is it, like nobody's excited for this like like one in like 40 people are like hey this is awesome and those people I i'm so sorry normally i don't like to be entirely rude to just about anybody on my youtube channel uh, except for maybe uh, a few people uh, a few people but um those, those people that are excited about it when you come across one of these they have an iq of less than 100 it's in the double digits and that's very unfortunate um but nobody uh in the ponzi continues can you keep the minimum withdrawal low so i can exit the ponzi faster just uh it's just i'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm telling you guys get on this it's good stuff now, uh, on to some more news. Google bans cryptocurrency mining apps from Play Store. This is going to hurt a little bit, but not too much. Uh, not as much as you might think. Uh, first of all, from the Play Store, that means you're probably going on your Android um, or something, and you're going on uh, to the Google Store with your cell phone. You shouldn't be mining on your cell phone anyway. Whoever had the great idea of mining on their cell phone uh, should be struck in the head with a tack hammer. Uh, just uh, proverbially, uh, theoretically, um, because this phone right here, uh, you do that um, and it's going to burn it up within days. It's going to kill the battery or it will literally set your phone on fire or it will just shut down and never turn back on. Do not mine with your cell phone. Now, the Electronium mining app was a mining simulator. So that's a different story. So if you put the Electronium app on your on your phone, it's likely not going to burn up your phone because it's just a mining simulator. And with an S8 or an S9 phone, uh, you'll get like 50 uh, mega hash a day, which is really just kind of pennies a day. But if you have a ton of phones, I, I suppose if you're really into Electronium, why not? But I, I still, I can't really recommend it just because Electronium's kind of an S coin, if you get what I mean. An SH coin, if you get what I mean. Uh, uh, nudge, nudge. It's just going nowhere. And if it does, it's just because the whole price of crypto increases and then it's going to increase. And you'll be like, hey, look, I thought you said Electronium wasn't going to go anywhere. Well, yeah, because that's because the Bitcoin pairings went up. So um, so they have banned uh, crypto mining apps from the Play Store. And that's not a big deal because you shouldn't have been mining with your cell phone anyway. If anybody thought, hey, I can mine on my cell phone because it's a computer, right? Well, that's just the same. Like, you might as well mine Bitcoin with your CPU. You might as well whip out a Pentium 3 processor or a Pentium 2 slot a processor and start mining away Bitcoin with your and, and make your two pennies a day uh, because it's just not going to work. It just it just isn't. Let's be realistic here. 
it's not going to work. Um, so this isn't too big of a deal. Uh, but moving on here, Google shuts down rumor mill over its crypto ban. So now it banned crypto on its AdWords. Uh, so the rumor mill is that Google announced at the beginning of the year that it would no longer allow crypto related advertisements on its platform, which is AdSense or not AdSense, but um, AdWords. Um, called Google Ads, which you just put on your website and your blog and things like that. Uh, so those are gone, uh, theoretically. Um, its fear was the usual ban actors would try to promote fraudulent crypto schemes, uh, which kind of good, get rid of those, but there are a lot of good crypto schemes out there. I don't know if I want to use the word schemes, but good crypto ads uh, like Coinbase or Binance or some kind of exchange or something like that. So you can go to and learn how to buy crypto or, or whatever. Um, even, you know, to some degree, like YouTubers sometimes make uh, ads and then they put them on on uh, on on YouTube. Um, you know, like, uh, for example, I you know, nobody likes them, but Ty Lopez does it all the time. He's just like, oh, you know, if you buy Bitcoin from my service or, or you do this, that's just, that's one example. Or sometimes you, you click on a YouTube and it shows some guy and he's sitting in a pool and he's like, he's like, you ever wonder how to get rich? Those those are what I'm talking about. Now, those are mostly always schemes, but ju it just goes to show that somebody, uh, for, for example, I don't know, like myself, I could make one of those and be like, hey, go come to my channel and learn how to make crypto or hey, go to go to Coinbase or something like that. Maybe I can make money with, with the link. Uh, I'm probably not going to. Uh, I don't know why I would. Uh, maybe I should. I don't know. But uh, it just goes to show that there could be good crypto ads, but now they're getting rid of all of them. So in making that announcement, Google joined Facebook and Twitter in taking anti-crypto stances. However, in June, Facebook announced that it would reverse its ban on crypto adverts. Um, so a change of heart is likely behind the rumor mill that Google was also revisiting and reneging on its position. Also at play is a screenshot from a Reddit user uh, who, st who stated that Google uh, brings back Coinbase ads. Um, which is not really the case. So Google responded to these rumors uh, via Twitter. <clears throat> and I have them here, uh, that uh, ads promoting cryptocurrencies and related content are not allowed and to be advertised via Google Ads. So please feel free to reach out if you have additional concerns uh, or questions. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure if that really uh, is about Facebook because Facebook was uh, bringing back Coinbase ads and you know facebook does use a lot of google ads uh so who knows if the if if coinbase is coming back to to facebook or not i haven't really checked honestly i'm not on facebook very much um and i don't really see the ads so if you see the ads you can put it down in the comments below saying hey i did see a coinbase ad recently um so supposedly coinbase is back on on facebook and you know will pop up as an ad once in a while but overall google has banned uh, just about any crypto ad. Now, there's probably ways around that. You could essentially make a crypto ad and then just, you know, um, put it into the system that it's totally not a crypto ad and it would probably run for a while until somebody found out and shut it down on you. Uh, but that's just about all I have for the day. Make sure you guys go to this mm 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 finger licking good, not KFC, but souse. Um, and it's just, it's it's a blast. And then there's also, so so basically the tweet I showed you on Hashflare uh, Twitter is this one, the top one, uh, talking about how they're gonna resume SHA-256 uh, just because Go uh, Bitcoin went back to 8,000. But as soon as it goes back to 6,000, uh, if it does anyway, and hopefully it doesn't, of course, but we have to consider that chance that it's gonna go back to 6,000 and all of their S9 miners are not going to be making profit once again and you're just not gonna be paid out. So my advice, do not put any money into Hashflare or Genesis Mining or any of these, these things because they're not going to pay you. They're going to cover their behinds and so their their machines are still running uh more than likely anyway i'm not really at their facility and i don't really know but likely their machines are still running and they're still getting bitcoin but they're just not paying you out if if, if the fees go too high they just won't pay you out they cover themselves and you know that's not anything too crazy or new or unheard of but uh it just goes to show that they're not looking out for you they're not they're not looking to to get you bitcoin it's just they want your money up front you're gonna pay them a thousand dollars 
dollars up front and then in two months from now they're just going to stop paying you because the profits are too low and they're going to keep your thousand dollars they got your money they got it and they don't care if they're not paying you out or not they got all your money up front it's not like they're paying you're paying them a dollar a day for four dollars in bitcoin a day you paid them all your money up front uh but the second tweet down um is, is talking about how they're um to make this difficult decision of stopping mining uh, SHA-256 contracts. And then three days later, when the price of crypto goes back up, they're like, well, it looks like with all our diligent work, we've reached a solution. They've reached no solution. The price of Bitcoin itself reached a solution. Uh, they just stopped uh, because they didn't want to, um, they didn't want people freaking out at them anymore and, and bringing up lawsuits. So there's all kinds of lawsuits. Uh, you can see that people are, are talking about if it's class action, I'd like to join, expect a lawsuit very soon. Same here. I'm in two, same a billion dollars class action lawsuit. Count me in. SEC is investigating against hash flare. This was all right after they said this, this is on the 25th. They said it on the 24th, uh, lawsuit, lawsuit, give me my money back. Lawsuit, 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 lawsuit. Uh, and look at this. Oh, three days later when the price of bitcoin comes back up get your money out of hash flare uh try to get a refund try to just get it out um don't put anything back into it it you, you're cr you're crazy if you do uh, don't do it uh, just just take that hundred dollars that you would have put on hash flare and just buy just buy bitcoin with it or buy ethereum or litecoin or whatever you want and just buy it straight up uh and then you have it period. Or just save up your money and buy yourself uh, an ASIC miner if that's what you really want. I don't recommend ASIC miners because they're really expensive and then they end up going way, way down in profits. Uh, but at the very least, even if let's say your electricity bill every day for running your miner is $6 a day and you're only making $4 a day, at the very least, at the very least, you are getting your Bitcoin. At, you know, if you're running if you're running an S9 miner and you're paying six dollars in electricity and you're only getting four dollars in Bitcoin, you're still getting that Bitcoin. And maybe one day Bitcoin goes back to twenty thousand dollars or higher, maybe, and then it's all worth it. It paid your electricity bills and all you know and more. Uh, but if you're running through Hashflare and you put in uh, the price of a of an S9 miner, like seven hundred dollars, or maybe you bought it earlier when it was the, when they were fourteen hundred or two thousand um, dollars, you know. All that money's just gone. It's just sitting there, and they're not paying you. Uh, so it was just a total waste. At the very least, uh, you, you're be getting your Bitcoin if you uh, if you just straight up buy it, or if you have your own miner or GPUs. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And as usual, I will see you guys next time.